let's make unit conversions in the metric system. So this is going back and forth. Now, the big thing is that the metric system is based on powers of 10. So everything is base 10, which means we can simply move a decimal point. To think about that, <clears throat> let's just say I have 300 and I multiply by 10. Now I have 3,000. Or if I have 300 and I divide by 10, then I have 30. So you can see we simply go back and forth depending on where we're at. Now with the units, our base units are meters if we're talking about length, grams if we're talking about weight, and liters if we're talking about volume, liquids. And then we go directionally, right? So if we move our units to the right, that means they're getting smaller, so we have more of them. So we would say decimeter, then centimeter, then millimeter. Or deca, right? So this is deca, this is deci. So there's the difference. Hectometer and kilometer. So depending on where you're going, sometimes writing this out will allow you know about where you're going. So let's play. Convert 7.2 kilometers to meters. Okay, so we have units. And we know kilometers, so we have decameters, hectometers, kilometers. Okay, so I'm starting at kilometers, because that's what I have. Starting here, and that means I need to move my units one, two, three to the right. So I move my decimal point, one, two, three. And I make, I kind of overemphasize, I call them my humps. And then if you have nothing there, they become zeros. So the decimal point is now here. So that means this is the same as 7,200 meters. Convert 864 centiliters to hectoliters. Okay, so we're talking about liters, and then I have deca, centa, milla, deca, hecto, kilo. Okay, where am I starting? I'm starting 864 centiliters. That's here. I want to go to hecta. So that's one, two, three, four. Four to the left. So where do we see our decimal? It's at the end, because I don't see one, so it's at the end. Four to the left. One, two, three, four. This is my new one. I have an empty hump, so I put a zero. So 864 centiliters is the same as 0 0.0864 hectoliters. And I'm visual, so I do a lot of this stuff on the bottom. Convert 12,500 milligrams to decagrams. Okay, so we're talking about grams. So deca, centa, milla, and then deca, hecta, kilo. Okay, so what are we starting with? 12,500 milligrams. We're going to decagrams. So one, two, three, four, four left. It's at the end. So one, two, three, four. So this is the same as 1.25 decagrams. Appears to be it.